Are you ready for the Lincoln Kermis? It is tomorrow. It begins with 1015 Mass in Lincoln, which is right across the street from Susie's Place. And one of the highlights of the Lincoln Kermis and any Kermis for that matter are Belgian pies. And I am with two Belgian beauties who are making Belgian pies today for tomorrow's Kermis, Char and Deb. And they're going to share a little bit about Belgian pies. You know, we see them at the store, we eat them at festivals, but let's learn a little bit more about them. And I'm curious, how did the two of you learn how to make Belgian pies? Well, I learned from my mom, did it as long as I can remember. My mom always made them for the Rosaire Kermis. And so every year we would make pie on the Rosaire Kermis. And I learned from my grandma Jilson, Todd's grandma. Um, and we also made them for the Kermis also. So this is really carrying on a family tradition passed on from one generation. Are you passing it on, do you think, to your own kids, to your grandkids in the future? Definitely. Some years our daughters come and help, but right. right now they both have little babies, so this year they're not here, but often they come and help. And also there was three recipes combined. It is my mother, Grandma Jilson, right. and then my husband's grandmother, Ruth Angebus, that we combined those three and made our own recipe. Walk us through the process of making a Belgian pie. Well, your first step is you have to use cake yeast. So you get your, we peel potatoes. I know it sounds crazy, but we peel potatoes and you boil them till they're very soft and you run them through something called a food mill. So every batch has one cup of food mill potatoes. You activate your yeast, which has to be cake yeast. And then you make your dough with a sweet dough and that's get that raising and that's the first step while you prep your fillings lots of sugars lots of eggs lots of butter <laughs> and, and what are some of the flavors because there's lots of different flavors you're going to have of the belgian pies we're making cherry apple prune rice and poppy seed this year some years we make raisin this year we we didn't um right. someone is bringing raisin so but those will be the flavors available tomorrow, or yeah, tomorrow at the Kermis. Yes. And you have been working at this, not only today, but you started yesterday prepping the fillings. Today you were up before the crack of dawn and getting everything ready. So how long is this process to make these Belgian pies? Well, the whole thing is actually a four day process because we shop for all the ingredients one day make fillings the next day. Today we bake pie and tomorrow you'll see us at the Kermis. So and you'll be pies. selling them and yes. eating them. Yes. So, <laughs> and how many pies do you two, and you're, you have another relative in there who's making pies, how many do you make all together? I would guess we're gonna make about 120. It yeah, depends usually. how your dough raises, but today we seem to be getting about 12 pies to a batch of dough mm -hmm. and we're doing 10 yeah. batches, so. And what is your favorite Belgian pie? I would say my favorite is probably cherry. Mine is rice with lots of whipped cream. <laughs> and if you want to come and try some of their Belgian pies, you can do so tomorrow at the Lincoln Kermis, beginning at 1015. It goes till four o'clock. There's raffles, lots of fun, children's activities, bouncy houses, everything that you want, you'll find tomorrow for a Sunday fun day at the Lincoln Kermis. Check it out.